from the very moment Disney debuted the first trailer, the first teaser for their live action race swap Little Mermaid, you knew there was already going to be a ton of backlash. 3.6 million dislikes. And of course, their most recent trailer that they released during the Academy Awards wasn't much better. You can see there it's even a worse ratio, but it's at 1.6 million dislikes. People are pushing back against Disney for lazy, live action, identity politics laden garbage. And that's what Little Mermaid is going to be. And as soon as you see something like that, a massive character race swapped like they did to Ariel with Holly Bailey as the actress, you know it's not just about that. You know that it's going to be more and more and more that we discover about this movie that's also rooted in identity politics. Like when the director and Holly Bailey came out and said that the new take on Ariel spotlights a modern woman. It's not going to be tied down to what they did before. We're going to improve on the original. We're going to make it better because that doesn't fit for a modern woman. It seemed to have worked pretty well over the last several years, the last 30 plus years. Seems like Disney made a decent amount of money marketing that movie, profiting off that movie, but that's not okay anymore. And what we recently found out is, again, more changes happening to the live-action Little Mermaid for a modern audience. The Little Mermaid remake changed lyrics to two songs to be less offensive. I will say one of the most offensive things is the terrible, horrific CGI that we've seen all throughout. That's one of the massive reasons that these things have been getting ratioed. It does not look good. It doesn't look like the 200 plus million dollar film that this should be. And of course, it's just once again, Disney going back, being completely soulless to remake something that they've already done with a twinge of identity politics included. Uh, but let's see what exactly these songs are that were so offensive, Disney felt they needed to change it. Again, I'll say it once again. When you see something like a race swap that's done for the purpose of diversity, representation, and identity politics, that's not the only thing. That is the way they built this entire movie. So anything they thought that wasn't woke enough, they were gonna need to change that. And that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to fix The Little Mermaid. The Little Mermaid remake composer Alan Menken reveals the lyrics to two songs from the animated classic will feature updated lyrics to make them less offensive. Serving as a live-action remake to the beloved 1989 Disney film, The Little Mermaid stars Holly Bailey as Ariel, a mermaid who strikes a deal with a sea witch to trade her voice for human legs. Yes, we all know about that. Ahead of The Little Mermaid's release date next month, Menken reveals in an interview with Vanity Fair that both Kiss the Girl and Poor Unfortunate Souls, two of the most well-known songs from the original film, have had their lyrics updated so modern audiences wouldn't find them offensive. It's less clear which specific lines were changed, but Kiss the Girl does have several lyrics that don't reflect modern ideals regarding consent. Check out Menken's full comment below. Here's the quote. There are some lyric changes in Kiss the Girl because people have gotten very sensitive about the idea that Prince Eric would in any way force himself on Ariel. We have some revisions in Poor Unfortunate Souls regarding lines that might make young girls somehow feel they shouldn't speak out of turn, even though Ursula is clearly manipulating Ariel to give up her voice. This is so stupid. Yes, you have the villain trying to tell Ariel, you, you really don't want to talk out of hand, you really don't want to do anything like that. You have the villain trying to convince her to do something wrong. Why would you think you need to change that? That is so stupid. And of course, in the, in the Me Too era, how dare a man take the first step? How dare a man actually be like, hey, I'm going to take the action, I'm going to take the initiative, and I'm going to kiss you when, it, when it's something that you clearly want. This is laughable. Now, I think there, there may be a chance that they have changed some of these lyrics beforehand, even for like play versions or something like that. So I'm not sure if these are even more additional ones or if there were some things that didn't get done for those plays, whatever. But this is just laughable. This is so stupid. But this is what Disney's doing. And this is the reason that Disney's panicking about this. This is the reason they've tried to label anyone as a racist if you have a problem with this, if you criticize it. If you hit the down vote on these trailers, it must just be because of racism. Not because all the things we've seen is just another clear indicator that Disney's focused on identity politics and pushing an agenda ahead of actually giving fans what they want, ahead of actually entertaining people. This is going to be a nightmare, and I, for one, can't wait. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.